Your presence is long missed, my liege. I feel that my power is weakening from your absence. What's up guys, welcome back, Paradigm Gaming 101, we are continuing where we left off, going right into the next chapter. Now let's see, after the last few pages that I've uncovered and chapters that I have completed, it looks like there's nothing left I can do inside that, uh, that dinky old den that was so secretly hidden from everybody. Uh, so all I got left at this point is to figure out, uh... Where else I can go? Huh. A globe cradled in a wooden frame. <laughs> Alright. This is kind of nice, though. Except for the fact that that banging right there just keeps freaking me out. about time we explored a little bit more of this place. No one's home, go away. Huh. Broken second floor key. I wonder if I know a spell that I learned reading a book. <laughs> Enter my cell time. Eh, just as I thought. Repaired. I love it. I should probably use the key. There we go. Okay. What do we got here? A leaky faucet. It's kind of creepy. And it went away when I looked at it. A serene painting of a luscious mountain valley. It's kind of cool. And it's bleeding again. Oh, what the hell is that? Dude, I feel like I'm in freaking Disneyland. Haunted Mansion right. They got those statues that stare at you when you walk walk by them. This must be my grandfather's room. It's very dark. At least he uh, knew about safety. Revolver ammo, that sounds good. That must mean I must be able to find a gun somewhere soon. I certainly hope so. Huh. No keyhole. I wonder how I will open it. What do we got in here? Well, this is creepy. Oh, journal action. Oh, very nice. That bathtub, though, reminds me of Resident Evil 1. Ah! Holy shit! <laughs> I totally forgot that was gonna happen. Oh my god. Ah, oh god. No less than a newborn baby. These journals are creepy. And I still can't get over that frickin' bathtub. The hairs on the end of my neck are standing on edge. Oh god. Banging's not helping either. You know, I have played this game before. Trust me. And I've beaten it. And it's awesome. But it's been many, many years since I've played it. There is no way to answer that door. Trust me. It's just there to freak the hell out of you. <laughs> well, this is rather museum-like. Oh, hey, look, a chapter page. There we go. The Gift of Forever. Huh. Well, I don't want to jump in yet, because here's some ammo. Make sure I'm not missing anything. A musty aroma hangs in the air. It definitely has to be a museum. 
All right. Let's do this. Okay. I'm ready for this. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. 565 AD. We just keep going back and forth here. This guy looks like he needs some water. Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? I have implored you for years. Yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams. And I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Kareem. For weeks, I have dreamed of Hello. an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I, I can see through your shirt. More than the a little risque for a Nintendo game. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you. <laughs> it's not worth it, dude. She's materialistic, and you're obsessed. And look where we just landed. Okay, okay. I'm digging it. This isn't good, but we are definitely in the right place. Oh crap. All right, we are back. Something tells me the Tome of Eternal Darkness is on the other side. What do we got here? What do we got here? There you go. Anthony's right there. We keep going through these pages. These statues are going to end up getting filled. I'm digging it. All right. Grant me all their powers, bro. Let's do this. Yes. Yeah, go figure. I grab a book and the evil awakens. Skull people. I'm really going on a hunt for this chick? Ugh. Oh well. I'm doing it for the story. He may be doing it for the chick, but I'm doing it for the story. You muscle-bound flesh skull hounds are going down. A statuette. Eh, I might as well take it. If, they, if it's a bunch of puzzles like the last time, something tells me I'm just going to have to pick up everything that I see and somehow use it to my advantage. Well, he certainly has a better weapon than Anthony, and he handles a little bit better, but the most annoying thing I had last time was the small corridors, very narrow corridors, where every time I swing my damn sword, I keep hitting the darn wall. Certainly hope I don't run into that. This thing's quite powerful, though. 
couple of hits and these guys go down and my, my insanity meter fills right back up. Right where I like it. I really hate that my insanity meter goes down. And I, I know you guys haven't seen it yet, <laughs> but trust me, this game gets to a point where it just starts messing with you. It sucks. And that's just putting it mildly. I know I've mentioned that before, I think that was the second chapter in Sanity Meter when it was first introduced, but I am not looking forward to this game messing with me. I'm sure you as the viewer are, but this game gets kind of freaky. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna happen. Just keep watching and you'll see it, you'll see it unveil. This place looks like it's gotten a little bit of a makeover. An arcane shrine dominates the room. All right, I'm digging it. This uh, looks like that rune. There we go. I got the rune. Open up the pathway. Let's go. Let's keep this going. Oh, cool! I can pick up the torch. Last time when I was Anthony, I was able to burn those skull guys. See if I can do this again. And another statuette. And another tablet of what I like to call the Ten Commandments. <laughs> that joke was already used, so I I'll probably have to refrain from using it again. But hey, what are you gonna do? Ah, let me go. <laughs> that, was that was pretty cool. Ungar! It's so weird when you chop off their heads and they grow right back. Are the walls on the left hand side bleeding? Kinda looked like they were. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not a fan of bleeding walls. Something out of a horror movie. And my body will be waiting for the rest. Yeah! Oh, crap. The last thing I need is little scorpion minions, bro. I gotta be slow. They can't see. It's all about hearing. Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. Peace out, homie. You guys scare other people and send them to the fifth dimension. This place looks familiar. It's kind of uh, looks like the corridor that uh, Pius Augustus was, the first character I was before he turned evil after grabbing that relic. Sword in the Stone? Tolwar Sword. Interesting. If it's better than m my first one, I'll take it. Oh, dual wield! What's up, people? What? Oh, crap. Really? Oh, crap. Dual wielding bitches? Master Chief, beat your heart out. Dual wielding swords are the... Oh, my crap. Oh, my God. I hate these guys. I hate these guys. Ah! Die, 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 die. I know these guys were introduced in the last chapter, but when you have to fight them, they suck. Oh man, it's a good thing I got that talisman too, otherwise my health is... <laughs> Another dead man. Recover spell, very good. Yeah. As I was saying, Master Chief, eat your heart out. I remember when Halo 2 was first released and everybody was going crazy for the dual wielded guns. But if you're Kareem from Eternal Darkness, dual wielding swords is the shiznit! <laughs> I mean, come on, you can't get any better than that. Well, 
At least on GameCube. <laughs> Master Chief is legit. Oh, crap. I hate these guys. I hate these guys. Come on. I have no... I have no sanity. Oh, thank God. I have a little bit. I have a little bit of sanity. But I am so low. And I am out again. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I have hairs standing on the edge on the back of my neck again because I do not like crying women or crying babies. This is not cool. Come on, sanity. I don't like maniacally screaming and laughing chicks either. This was the point of the game I didn't want to get to. I made it this far without having to get this low of sanity. Awkward camera angles aside are, are okay, but this is just not cool. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Come on. Alright, finish him. Finish him. Get my sanity gauge back up. Oh, thank God. <sighs> the, the, the crying is gone. Not a fan of that. Apparently I don't have this rune. Is it here? Certainly hope so. Yep, there it is. Oh, crap. Not you. Ah, oh, my sanity's gone again. Alright, let's try this again. Ah! Oh my god! No! Come on, I can do this. Heal. Heal. Yeah! Take it! Magical room, sweet. Alright, let's finish him. Okay. I've got a little bit of my sanity back. But my health sucks. I have no choice. I have to throw my health all the way. I can't let that happen again. Now I can just have to survive without trying to heal myself because I am completely out. Oh my god. <laughs> the game just messed. Oh my god, there's a scorpion. This game just totally messed with me. I just got sent back to this freaking fifth dimension. And there's another guy in the background. No! Green. I want green. Ah! I want green. I need my sanity back up. Red. Blue. Ah! Green, green, green. Crap. I, I, I didn't make it, I didn't make it. Go, 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 go! Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Okay. Sanity, sanity. Bring it up. Oh, thank god. Looks like this is the only way out. Yeah, 
This game's starting to get crazy. Keep the darkness at bay. You're a freaking ghost. Isn't really happening. Oh, this is happening, bro. Nice. Nice. Recover spell. Thank you. This must mean I can recover my sanity. Restoration of the body, spirit, and mind. Okay, yeah, th this has to be. Alright, I'm gonna try to assign it to that. Hey, this is where Pius was. He came from this side. Pretty cool. That must mean... Oh! Sword in the stone, people! Yeah, look, look where we're at. Look where we're at. This was uh, from the beginning of the game. Ram Dao. Broadsword. Hell yeah. I'm liking where this is going. And the music just got a lot more sexier. Something tells me I get to test out my new sword. Come at me, bro! Come at me! You can pierce my soul with your eyes all you want. I got you. I got you! Damn, this sword is awesome! Look at that! So bring my sanity up one body at a time. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. like this is one of those trial periods where I just gotta mercilessly annihilate every single skull body that pops up. So be it. So be it. Ah, stick around! <laughs> Uh, I've got so many Arnold Schwarzenegger quotes that are popping up the back of my head. Especially at the end of Commando. And the general walks up to Schwarzenegger's character and he says, Did you leave anything for us? <laughs> Just bodies. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's do this. Let's do this, come on. I've got my Ram Dao. I'm here to get rid of all of the bodies. You're piercing my soul. But I will pierce you with my Ram Dao. <laughs> Oh, I could do this all day. I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> there we go. Who's next? Are we going to keep changing it up? Are we going to increase the, uh, the body count? Yep, yes we are. Oh, this guy's got a rune! I'll take that from you, bro. I will take that from you. From my cold, dead hands. Oh, crap. I hate these guys. He took all of my sanity meter. No, not another one. <laughs> crap. My health is so low. Oh, thank God. Magical room. Finish him. Finish him all! Oh! The 
this is this is not good. Oh, I'm glad that was it. I'm gonna get my sanity back up. All right, did I miss anything else in this room? Is that it? Maybe. It looks like it. All right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. There's got to be a way to do this. I have the runes. Do I have to have a codex to figure it out, or can I create my own? Body, spirit, and mind. I get, there, there's got to be a way. I got an enchantment spell. Okay, that's something. That, that's, that's good. That's good. Can I do recover? That was not the recover rune. That was not either. Let's try this again. Yeah! I got the recover spell. Okay. I need to assign it. I need to assign it. All right. It worked. Yes. Let's use all my magic. Let's use it all. I love it. Okay. We're on a good streak right here. We're on a good streak. All right. There's nothing over here, it looks like. All right, we'll get out of this room entirely. And the door. I'm probably going to have to enchant this item, considering I had to do that earlier in the mansion. Let's give her a try. This door has just been violated. <laughs> So is my sanity. Holy crap. The volume's low. <laughs> That's just my insanity meter going crazy, and this game's messing with me again. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. This game freaking messes with you. Little things like that. Oh, hello, scorpion people. I'm gonna try to move away from you if I can. He's touching me, and he's not freaking out. I guess I'm just gonna stand still for a second until he moves away. Uh, stay there. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, what are you? A ruby effigy. I'll take it. Yeah, I know you hear me. I know you hear me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I think I'm doing okay so far. How many does that leave? How many does that leave? Whew! This isn't good. This is not good. Enchantment items have proven to be successful. Let's give this a try. Crap. Ugh. What? What? Oh, crap. 
Ah, oh, the game is just messing with me again. Let me try this again. Recover. You're playing a cool, cruel trick on me, bro. Yes! Made from human skin and bone. Is this where the Tome of Eternal Darkness will be kept? Yep. Looks like it. I mean, I can only speculate. I mean, it's just like the thing where you appear out of nowhere with the statues and then the hand that opens. I mean, that's what it looks like. Oh, great. More of you. What the hell is this? Really, force field? You're trying to keep me from leaving? But you're gonna let these jerks in? <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, look where I'm at. I'm starting to notice a trend here. First they get the skinny, scrawny skull people, and then they get the muscular ones with all the muscles. I mean, I, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger from here, right? Start, start low and work your way up. I'd imagine after these guys pierce my soul a million times and my insanity meter is low, and I destroy all of them and pick some of it back up, something tells me I'm gonna have to fight another three-headed muscular guy again. Not looking forward to that. Those claw people. Those claw creatures suck. This sword is legit, though. Can all of my characters have this, please? What did I say? What did I say? I totally freaking called that. I'm not fighting this guy without an enchantment, seriously. Otherwise, I'd probably be fighting him all day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, you see how fast that went? That's what's up. Who's next? <laughs> oh, hello. You know what happens when you grab these things, right? Jealous mistress. 
she had me dragged from my bed. And in cruel revenge, cleansed with knives. Whoa. As the last blades were drawn across my body, and my blood pooled upon the floor. She cursed that I would only be with another in death. So much for thinking only of me. I should never have left. I have seen my folly, and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. You really don't look so good anymore. You must <laughs> forget the past. Despite you really do past, don't look so good anymore. You will also become something more. Just as I have. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. <laughs> she said the title of the game. Really? You really kissed her? There goes your sacrifice, bro. I hope it was worth it. Saving the world and all. <laughs> oh, hello, Earth and Moon. How did I end up back here? What? For <laughs> sin? What? Oh, this game is messing with me again. My insanity meter is going crazy. <laughs> the more I read this book, the more I go insane. You saw it. <laughs> oh, man, this game is going to get way more interesting. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more Eternal Darkness. We are going through it all. 